What's going on guys, Ian Fernando here. And right now I'm logged into my Adplexity account and I want to do a quick tutorial on how to find winning campaigns. So when you go ahead and advertise online, you already know what affiliate campaign to run and pretty much be profitable uh, once you launch a campaign. So I'm logged in. Uh, the first thing that I do on my account is basically take a look at the days running and I usually adjust it to about seven days. Um, the reason why I do this is because <clears throat> I want ads to be visible for at least seven days. Anything that's not visible uh, less than seven days are probably just bad ads and are not converting. Um, if I really want to see something that's been running for a while, then I'll switch it over to 14 days or 15 days. And then Appplexity will go ahead and update it automatically and show you what's winning okay and the next thing i'll do is i won't do it by newest but i'll do it by received the most traffic this way i'll see which ad campaign has been running for a while and has been receiving the most traffic uh, basically hits you'll see how many hits been receiving how long it's been running for 31 days etc <clears throat> and then the other thing is i'll go ahead and choose uh, the affiliate network. I don't want to choose. Uh, I don't want to see everything because you might see branded uh, ad maybe from like AT&T or AliExpress or anything like that. I want to see affiliate campaigns. So what I do is I basically go ahead and click on choose more. I select all. I uncheck none. Um, and this way it will give me all the affiliate networks uh, offers and campaigns that have been running. Okay, and you'll see that's all been refreshed here uh, pretty quickly. Um, and the next thing is, if I really want to spy on something, I can go on the tracking tool, but this is pretty much what I already need. <clears throat> now, you'll go ahead and see all these ads here, and these ads are have been running for at least 15 days onwards, and that means that people actually have ad spends for it, and are pretty much profitable since um, usually after two or three days they have to pay for their ad spend anyway. So the next thing I want to do is basically click on uh, the search term here and put in the query. So let's say right now I want to run some crypto campaigns, right? I'll go ahead and click on crypto or type in crypto <clears throat> and see what's running. So this one shows me for the past 15 days, this has been running and there's only one ad. So let's take a look at what it shows us. <clears throat> so you'll see here that it's been running in only UK, pretty much on mobile devices, and you'll see the landing pages here. And the crazy thing is you'll see the ad trends, how it's been performing over the past couple of days as well. Um, you'll have a lot of information here that Adplexity is showing and um, the top publishers or widgets that this specific ad has been advertising on specifically okay and you can see that this specific has been running on just web content almost a hundred percent as you can see here but that's basically it how I find a profitable campaign uh, on Adplexity is pretty pretty much easy and it's quick so the most important part is basically filtering it by the days running, the actual um, received the most traffic, and also by affiliate networks. And that's important just because you don't want to see branded content or branded ads. So if you guys have not already read my review on Adplexity, go ahead and check the blog. You'll go ahead and see a discount code on there as well. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and just ask me any questions if you have to.